Hi guys, hope you are having an amazing day. I'm Dorotea from Krobe Patterns and I'm back with a new crochet tutorial. In my last video, I asked you guys what tutorials would you like to see next on my channel and so many of you said that you would like to see more tutorials for baby shoes for little boys and that's exactly what I did. I took my crochet hook and some blue and gray yarn and created a pattern for cute baby sneakers. The best thing is that they are great for boys and girls because they don't have a big bow or a bunch of flowers on them. The pattern is very simple, it's made in four steps, sole, heel, tongue and shoelaces. As always, you can find the link to the written pattern, PDF pattern with one additional size, stitch abbreviations and links to the yarn I'm using in the tutorial in the description box below. Let me show you what you will need for this tutorial. You will need some DK weight yarn, I'm using 100% cotton yarn in grey and blue color, but you can actually choose any color of yarn you like. You will also need a pair of scissors, stitch markers to mark important stitches, 3.5 mm or E4 crochet hook and a yarn needle. This tutorial starts with the already finished crochet sole, so if you are not coming from the tutorial for how to make a crochet sole, please pause the video here and start with that tutorial first and come back for the upper part. You can find the link to the video for the crochet baby sole in the description box below. Before you end the crochet sole, do not cut the yarn, just continue with chain 1, work 1 back post half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. Back post half double crochet stitches are almost the same as normal half double crochet stitches, but instead of working into top loops of each stitch, work your half double crochet stitches around each stitch from the previous round, coming from the back of the stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook from the back around the stitch Yarn over and pull the loop through You have 3 loops on your crochet hook now yarn over again and pull the loop through all three loops on your crochet hook. And that's it, your back post half double crochet stitch. Now continue working your back post half double crochet stitches to the end of the round. As you can see here, with the help of back post half double crochet stitches, we are creating a nice border around the crochet sole. You can achieve very similar effect if you are working half double crochet stitches around the sole into back loops only, but I personally prefer this method, so I am using it in many of my crochet patterns. At the end of the round, you should have 44 stitches in total. Make sure you skip the chain from the previous round. Now join the round with a slip stitch. Slip stitches does not count as a real stitches in my patterns. And the first round is done. Cut the yarn and fasten off. The next part we will work on will be shoe tongue. We will start off by marking 20 stitches on the toe part of the shoe. So find the middle of the shoe and count 10 stitches on the right and 10 stitches on the left. Place markers and you are ready to go. 
Now starting one of your mark stitches, I will start on my right shoe toe facing me. From now on we will work in rows, that means that we will make a chain to lift a row and turn after each row. It's very important that you crochet your first row of tongue into back loops only. There are two loops or a V shape on the top of each stitch. You will work into loops that are placed further away from you, so we call them back loops. We will start in our first mark stitch and we will join the yarn with chain one, then we will start crocheting in the same stitch and we will work one half double crochet into next 20 stitches. So yarn over, insert the hook into back loop, yarn over and pull the loop through, yarn over again and pull the loop through all three loops on your crochet hook. Now continue working one half double crochet into back loop to the next marker. As you can see here, I am working around the yarn tail and I will hide it between the stitches. So row 1 is done, chain 1 and turn your work. From now on work into both loops, work 1 single crochet into first 4 stitches, Skip 2 stitches and insert the hook into the third one. Work 1 double crochet into next 8 stitches. Skip 2 stitches and work 1 single crochet into last 4 stitches of this row. At the end of this row, you should have 16 stitches in total. Let's start with row 3. Chain 1 and turn your work. Work 1 single crochet into first 2 stitches. Work 1 single crochet into first 2 stitches. 
skip next to work one double crochet into next eight stitches Skip 2 stitches again and work 1 single crochet into last 2 stitches. At the end of this row you should have 12 stitches in total. Let's continue with our next row, row 4. Chain 1 and turn your work. Skip first 2 stitches and work 1 double crochet into next 8 stitches. Skip one stitch and work one slip stitch into the last one. Because our last stitch, slip stitch, count as a stitch here, we have at the end of this row 9 stitches in total. Row 5. Row 5 is the row of double crochet stitches, so chain 2 to leave the row, turn. Now start in the very first stitch and work 1 double crochet into next 9 stitches.
Again, at the end of row 5 you should have 9 stitches in total. And here is our final row on this part of the shoe. Because we would like to achieve round shape of the shoe's tongue, we will start our row with chain 1, then we will turn. Now work one single crochet into the first one. One half double crochet into next 7 stitches. And finish the row with one slip stitch into the last one. Now cut the yarn and fasten off. And we are done with this part. Let's continue with the heel part. The first and the last two stitches of the heel part are made into front loops of the tongue part. That's why we will mark one front loop, two stitches in on both sides. You can start off in any of those two mark stitches. I will start on my left, facing the toe part. Insert the hook into the front loop and join the yarn with chain 1. Start in the same stitch and work one single crochet into first two stitches but into front two loops only. Continue working towards the heel, work one single crochet into next 24 stitches. Be careful on the middle of the heel for the slip stitch, make sure you skip it because if you accidentally crochet into it, you will have one additional stitch that you have to carry into all next rows. There is nothing wrong with that, just have in mind that in this case, you will have at the end of this row and all next rows one stitch more than I have. Work your last two stitches into front loops only. And that's the end of row 1. Let's continue with row 2, chain 1. And this chain count as a stitch, so place the marker into it, skip next two stitches, so the very first one, because the chain represents that first stitch, so there is no need to make a stitch into the first one, then skip the next one. This one is for the shoelace hole, now place the hook into the third one. Work one half double crochet into next 24 stitches.
2 stitches left, skip the first one for the shoelace hole and work one half double crochet into the last one. At the end of this row you should have 26 stitches in total. Row 3, chain 1 and turn. The chain here does not count as a stitch. Work 1 single crochet into next 26 stitches. Because we didn't skip or add any stitches, we have to have at the end of this row 26 stitches in total. Row 4, 2 rows left. This row is very similar to row 2, so chain 1 and turn. The chain here count as a stitch, so skip first 2 and place the hook into the third one. Work 1 half double crochet into next 22 stitches. Two stitches left, skip one for the shoelace and work one half double crochet into the last one. Let's continue with the next row, our last row, row 5, chain 1 and turn. The chain here does not count as a stitch, so start in the first one and work one single crochet into next 24 stitches. Now cut the yarn and fasten off. Hide all the yarn tails and start on the shoelaces. The shoes are almost done, all you need to do now is add shoelaces. You will insert them into 4 holes, 4 skipped stitches, 2 in row 2 and 2 in row 4. So let's start with the shoelaces. Create a slip knot. Insert a crochet hook into the loop and chain 85.
cut the yarn and pull the yarn tail through. Now make a tight knot on both sides of the chain and insert the shoelaces into the shoe. First put the shoe in front of you, you facing the front part. Insert one end from the outside to the inside of the shoe. Now insert the shoelace into the opposite facing hole starting from the inside to the outside. When you pull the shoelace through both loops, make sure it is the same length on both sides. That's actually very important. Now find the hole in a diagonal direction and insert each end of the shoelace into the hole from the inside to the outside. Make a nice bow and you are done. And here they are, cute crochet baby sneakers. The left and the right shoe are exactly the same, so all you have to do now is repeat all the steps again and that's it. Okay guys, that would be all for today. Please share your ideas for next videos in the comments below. Like this video, share it with your friends. For more videos, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye!